Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am pre-filming a bunch of videos because I'm so far behind because I've had laryngitis and I haven't been able to film for about a week and it's amazing what kind of backlog you get when you, you I don't realize how many videos I do in a week. <laughs> and then there was the end of the month and the beginning of the month and so on and so forth. So with that being said, what's on my nails? I, again, like I say, I'm pre-filming a bunch is Petal Pushers by Essie. It's this color here. It's like a, it's sort of like of a purpley gray. Um, so that's what's on my nails. All right, so, well, this is huge. I apologize in advance if I do stop to cough or if I have to grab a drink here that I have on the counter. Um, getting over laryngitis and so on, as I mentioned. So, a little tickly. Anyway, I had a crap ton of empties, you guys. The month of October was really the first month in a while that I got into burning candles. Um, I tend to, I'm finding that I'm burning more obviously in the winter months for coziness and, and so on and so forth. So you will see a lot of candles. So let's start with that first. Let's start with the Yankee candles. Some of, I will say this as well. Some of these are throwback Thursdays or already have full on reviews on my channel like this one. This was a throwback Thursday. This is Yankee candles, home classics, autumn festival. As you can tell, look how dirty that is. That's trimming the wick. Prior to the burn before. I mean, otherwise it did well. And, um, like, look how thick that is, you guys. Look how thick that um, soot is. It's just unreal. But it did get a good scent right to the bottom. I would have stopped burning it if I had gotten that gross scent. This I did pick up at, at um, Winners for $9.99. It was all right. Um, don't know if I repurchased that particular one. Pardon me. All right, let's go into some smaller ones from Bath & Byworks. These are a little bit older. Um, this is Autumn. I love the animals on this particular year of candle. This was. These are the single wicks. They just have the cover on top. These are the single wicks here. I love the little animals that they put in squirrels and all sorts of things as you'll see. So this is Autumn. It is one of my favorite candles to burn um, from Bath & Byworks at this time of year, hands down. And no, it's not a big throw in these particular candles, um, but I do love it. Um, I really I didn't thought this owl was so cute. I feel like their packaging has gone, well, I know the packaging, in my opinion, has gone downhill huge. So this is Sweater Weather, another staple scent for Bath & Body Works that I love. So this is their rendition of a squirrel with leaves. Uh, such a cute, again, I'm not super into packaging, but this is so cute. It did fairly well, you can see the top there. Did fairly well again, put itself out. A little bit of sitting, not the greatest throw again, but I love the scent and I don't mind or I don't mind how little or how much I get out of it, as long as I get a little scent. This is a throwback Thursday, so this one has a full review on my channel. Love the love the color contrast between the lid and the purple. The purple is a beautiful color. Black cherry merlot. Um, I find for me, black cherry merlot in the hand soap is my favorite way to smell the scent. Otherwise, it did well and it burned well and it threw all right again for a mason size, mason jar size. It did all right and extinguished itself. And not terrible amounts of sitting. Little squidgy marks along the side, but otherwise pretty darn good. This one, on the other hand, pumpkin apple. I can't remember. This is 2015. I think it's 2015. I can't. It could be 2016. This is the pumpkin day on top. As you can see, there's a lot of this candle. And by the way, if I burn candles and I don't get through it, I know I could get a candle crock. I got it. Thank you very much. I know lots of people are like, oh, you know, I can get, I know, I can get a candle crock. So I could also get aluminum lids and everything else, but that's just not me. Guys, I burnt this sucker because I didn't burn this in one shot. But look it. Look. First of all, wow. That wick ran off and caught a cab and went clear across town. Like, what happened here? Look at how, I had to blow this out. I turned around my back for a second and I, it was, the flames were way too high. And we know how full these are. They're not like extravagantly full. They're normally up to about here. <coughs> so you know, I haven't burned this for very long. I had to blow it out. I said, nope, uh, my safety is way more important. And I'm not going to struggle, struggle with candles. I'm sorry if you think it's a waste. I'm not putting it on a candle clock. Sorry. 
I'm sort of slightly laughing in the background, like no way I wouldn't do that. Pepper Plum, this was a unique candle for me. I was excited. This was one of the few candles that came out that it was new and beautiful. Love the jar color and it definitely has squidgy wax. Like it's definitely almost like um, waxy. It's more oh, wax, huh? Um, be like a beeswax, thicker, gooier. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So when I did my review initially, I said, oh, the burn was horrible. Funny enough, the burn from the top to about midway when I did the review was horrible. From midway down, fabulous. What the heck? I have no idea why. But anyway, this was really good. I don't think I repurchased it because of the issue I had with the burn. But this was a nice new scent. I quite enjoyed the fact that it was new. Another new scent that I loved, hated the burn, already has a review on my channel. This autumn ap apricot. This is a true apricot. I'm an Okanagan girl. That's where I was born and raised. We picked the apricots. We canned the apricots. We ate them all year round. Um, this is a true apricot scent. Autumn or not, can be summer, it doesn't really matter. Um, this was beautiful, the scent. As I mentioned in my review on this candle, which is already up on my channel, um, I would buy this candle again, but I would probably chunk it up right away. I would probably stick it in the freezer and chunk it up right away. But I really enjoyed it. <coughs> my apologies, guys. And something that never came back in 2017, which was so sad, which is pumpkin spice. This is a 2016 White Barn Collection Bath & Body Works candle. Fantastic. Myself and Anthony Candle Cafe, we both have done our own individual review of this. We both hands down agree this is a fantastic scent that Bath & Body Works was absolutely nuts not to bring back. True pumpkin, the right amount of spice, not too much cinnamon. As you guys know, I'm not a big cinnamon fan, like not super strong. So this was fantastic. I just, I wish I bought more. Honestly, I really do. I know I bought a, another one and I gave it as a hostess gift at a bridal, bridal shower I went to. Um, this lady was uh, hosting the shower at her house, so I wrapped it up and, and gave it as a gift. Very good candle. <coughs> All right, on to wax melts, which is, there's a lot, so um, wow. Okay, starting off. Already has a review on my channel, but Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works. This is a staple scent for me from Bath & Body Works every year. It's a bit expensive in Canada. They are $4.50. You can see that. $4.50 a clam. Even with coupons, they're still pretty expensive for what you get. I literally have to throw this entire scent shot, like the whole, all four of those triangles into one more warmer to get much of a throw. But I do like it. And I did do a review of Marshmallow fire, Fireside Type on my channel. So it's already up. Throwback Thursday scoopable wax tarts, or sorry, scoop, yeah, scoopable wax tarts, or tart wax, sorry. This is the mother to Jenny, which is Rose Girls. Um, Circus Con Concessions Monster. <coughs> I would receive this as a random act, part of a random act of kindness, which was awesome. It was my first time experiencing um, scoopables, and it's definitely got, got opened my eyes to more scoopables. So I will definitely look in the future to possibly purchasing, purchasing from this company again. I'm over the circus, circus concession. I'm not a huge circus concession person anyway. Circus concession is what a lot of um, reviewers here on YouTube will describe as being more like an August, September scent. It's got the popcorn, it's got the caramel, the apple, all of that kind of thing that you'd see in a, or a smell in a circus or at the fair. I'm not really into all that. I like apple. I like apple, but too much caramel is too much for me. I did enjoy this in, in depth, like I said, it opened my eyes to uh, trying this company out more. So I'm really excited about that. All right, some one-offs. Received this, uh, what was he, I received all of these, except for one as uh, from friends. Swanky Strawberry Clean Shave. <coughs> Fantastic, you guys. Um, I did receive this as a gift, this is great. Had it in my bedroom, threw really, really well. Um, definitely a standout scent. I don't know Swanky's that well. Um, I do understand that a lot of people love her wax. So um, all I can say is this was very good. I would highly recommend this particular blend if you choose to order from her. 
This was a mystery. Do not know what was in here. It was circular in shape, but I can't tell you what's in here. Haha. <laughs> Another, uh, so this is from Wonderberry. This is Rainbow Scoop. And I get it from a friend of mine, Julie. She sent me some of this. Uh, and it was really, really good. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. Just it was like in a little circle, like almost a donut. I really enjoy this. Highly recommend that. I don't, I don't think I've tried a lot from Wonderberry. <coughs> I've tried a few things, but not a lot. My friend Heather sent me this one. This is from what looks like to be ChloeAndMe.com along the bottom there. I put a spell on you, which is supposed to be cider and sea salt. I didn't get much throw from this. Um, I really love this sticker. Like This is a cool little packaging. But I didn't I actually get a lot of scent from, throw from this. Um, what I do recall of it is it definitely had the nice sea salt. And I know she, uh, my friend Heather wasn't really into sea salt, so I think she was kind of like, hey, Kim, you want to try this? And I'm glad I tried it, but I've never even heard of this company before. So Chloe and me. So that's cool. Destination Wax Bonfire Marshmallow. Uh, these stupid sticky bags. We already know how I feel about these stupid sticky bags. I hate them. I know hate's a strong word. I really just like these. Um, Bonfire Marshmallow was nice. It was very light. It's definitely a, a blender for sure. But I did melt this in my bathroom, which is the lowest wattage um, warmer that I have. So it was okay. Not a very great throw. I wished a little bit more about this, but I think again, like I said before, it's not destination wax. It is these stupid bags that I don't like. Anyway, it's just my own opinion, so sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, oh, let's go into Better Homes and Gardens. Man, do I have a lot to say about Better Homes and Gardens. Let me just f first say this. I'm over pumpkin. <laughs> I'm so over pumpkin, you guys. All of October was pumpkin, and I still had a few things left to do in November for pumpkin, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so over it. But anyway, there were definitely some standouts. Not pumpkin related. Stormy Autumn Night. This was awesome. Totally didn't, it threw me for a loop. I did not expect to like this as much as I did. And actually, I got a little bit of a minty undertone, like a winter mint undertone. And I really like that. This was fantastic. Mm. I have a backup of this, so I'm super, super thankful for that. Really, really awesome. Highly recommend. And it's American. Better Homes and Gardens. You can't get in Canada, unfortunately. Farm Apple Pumpkin from Better Homes and Gardens again. Um, this was great. Uh, I have lots of these clams because my friends were sending me some. This is if this the smell of this is exactly what I would think that would taste like. I don't know how else to describe it. A little cider, but a little bit you know more apple. Not so much cinnamon. Thank good God. Too much cinnamon. I'm telling you guys. Between cinnamon and pumpkin, this last month and a half, I'm like totally over it. But I do like farm apple pumpkin. I have a lot in back stock. Really enjoy that. Around the campfire, I did not enjoy this on cold, but it actually warmed haha, warmed up to it more while it was melting. Um, definitely more of a like a masculine cologne type scent. It's got a bit of a bite to it again, even when smelling it just now in the clam. There is almost a bite to oh, my first instinct is like bug spray, but that's not what I get when it's melting. It has nothing to do with. Marshmallow Fireside at all. So again, like many people have said before, if you see this picture, do not think that it's Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Byrics. Not even close. But I really like it. I have a backup of this, of this as well. <coughs> My friend Brenda's favorite moonlit magic pumpkin. This was awesome. First of all, I love the picture. The graphics of this is sexy. Like, I don't know. I sound stupid that I'm saying that. It's sexy. Like, it's not like your standard, ooh, I've got an apple and cinnamon stick. Or, ooh, there's a pie. No, it's like, look, there's this really cool pumpkin. It looks mysterious. There's a lantern in the background. But the smell is mysterious. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The scent has definitely got a crust note, like a, a bakery note to it. and But there's also like a sexy cologne to it to, as well. It You wouldn't think, it's not super pumpkin. Like, it doesn't, it's not, doesn't smell like that, but... I get where they were coming, with, like where they're going with this packaging, 
It's mysterious. It's a little sexy. Um, yeah, like I just, I thought this was great. I know that Brenda's is one of her favorites. This is really good. I still have a backup of that as well. This one I'm so over. Oh, spiced pumpkin pie. Oh, I should have known. It said spiced. I should have known. My friend's like, hey, would you like some? I'm like, sure, try it. Oh, this is all cinnamon. You guys, I couldn't stand it. I end up turning off my warmer super real quick. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I had to turn them off. It just freaking kicked mama out of the house. Not for me because it, to me it's just too strong. Great blender that I've used for the month of October. Vanilla cookie crunch. This is again, obviously, this is a value pack. <clears throat> Use all of them up. And uh, really enjoy this. And again, unfortunately it's only American. Um, but my friends, my friends hook me up all the time. So I really appreciate all my friends who are able to hook me up with this. It's really, really good. <coughs> Pardon me. We will get through this. <laughs> all right. As you saw just a few moments ago, sliced apple cinnamon, um, seems pretty basic on the, on the picture. It's cinnamony, cinnamony, but it's not as cinnamon as that spiced pumpkin pie. This was all right. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it's more of a favorite than the other one that was like throw mama out of the house. Vanilla caramel spice. So I thought this would be perfect for the bedroom. It was too strong. I actually did not enjoy this nearly as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. On cold, I think I liked it a little bit more. I think I had a little more faith in it that it would warm up a little bit, but it just, it definitely was just too spicy and there's like, there, there's cinnamon, there's nutmeg, there's clove, but it's quite strong. I think I made the mistake of melting this the first time in my bedroom when I thought this, it was inappropriate for the bedroom for me. Um, normally I want relaxing scents. This was like, ooh, yowzas. This is the kind of scent that I would put in my bedroom. Soft cashmere amber. This was really, really nice, you guys. Yeah. This actually reminds me of a charmkin. Again, I've said that before. Charmkins are these little tiny little things like toys we used to play with as girls in the 80s. I don't know. Like my friend next door. My best friend, actually. We've been best friends since we were four. So that's 35 years ago. I go to her house and we play Charmkins. And I don't know. There was some sort of smell to them or something. This definitely reminds me of that. This is fantastic. I would repurchase. Absolutely. It's great in the bedroom. Sorry, I got itchy nose. It's really great in the bedroom. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So would definitely be a repurchase if I could. Orchard, fresh orchard apples. This is like strictly apple. This is beautiful. This is an apple lover's dream. It was a juicy apple. So just as it says, would repurchase next year. Cinnamon apple dumpling. This was surprising, you guys. Super surprising. Okay. I actually really like this one. I don't know if whatever the dumpling is, it brought something out with it. <clears throat> like something came out with this dumpling. The, yeah, there's cinnamon and apple, but there's been cinnamon and apple in almost everything that I've shown you so far. But there's something here that I would, if I could purchase this again, this was really good. I actually stopped myself going, what is it I'm melting again? And I'm like, it smells really good. I really enjoy this blend. All right, let's get on to some sensationals. So Serenity Spa, really great. Use this in my bedroom, or my bathroom, sorry. This is a beautiful spa-like scent. And I think this one had a, yeah, it had like a bit of a minty note to it as well for me. Just a little bit, just like a background note. Would be, would be a repurchase. Love letters I purchased here in Canada. I don't think I repurchased it. It's just too perfumey for me. I think if I was going to melt it again, if I had any more, I probably should have tried it with um, Sugar Cookie Crunch. It's a bit perfumey for me, but I can see why this is a very loved scent. This is beautiful. It is a beautiful scent. Um, very feminine, uh, romantic. The way it, the love letters, the name of this was perfect for this, for this melt. <coughs> Pardon me. Harvest Moon, which is described as pumpkin kisses and autumn wishes. So this one is flying in my face. Oof. Not a fly, but a piece of wax blew in my face. Was surprising. Like this is positively surprising. 
I really enjoyed this. And that moon is like super cool. Um, I really like this. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not totally pumpkin. There's definitely other notes to it, but I really enjoy that. If you can still get your hands on this in the States, I would highly pick this. I would highly recommend to pick this up. Maybe save it till next year if you don't want to melt it now. Pumpkin spice. It's pumpkin time. So this is limited edition. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, not for me. I know that my friend Ramona, I'm pretty sure Ramona, this is the one that you love. It's your favorite. It's more, it's too spicy for me. Again, I think it's just too much spice. I think if I cut it again with something like sugar cookie crunch, I would do that and it would probably like it a little bit more. I'm hoping I like the banana, banana spice bread or whatever I have. Um, I'm hoping to like that one a little bit more. But anyway, so this is that one there. Disappointed with this one. It ended up taking some crazy ass perfume note to it that I actually had it in the bedroom because that's exactly where I wanted it to go. But it got really perfumey and it was too much again. Yeah, it was too much perfume for the bedroom. Just too much. <coughs> so um, I am going to say I would not repurchase this. If you like perfume scents, absolutely. I would I would recommend this at all uh, for sure. I wanted more of that vanilla. Less of the musk. All right, you guys, let's do some super charts. I've got lots of vendor wax here. All right, so purchases in a D stash. It was my first time purchasing Lex shaving cream, yuzu, and vanilla milkshake. This was too light for me. I ended up having to throw like two cubes, which for me, um, super charts, I really don't like one cube at a time. It's just too light for me. It's not something I would repurchase at all. <coughs> Pardon me. My friend per or gifted this to me, Mouse Ears. Fantastic. The uh, Probably one of the hardest scents to get from Super Tarts. I mean, she just had her wax Wednesday. Like, um, it is, I'm filming this on the 15th, so this would have been her wax Wednesday. And it, it was sold out within seconds. I mean, I was in the cart and I had my stuff and things got cart jacked. But anyway... Mouse ears is super popular. Sweet lollipops, iced lemonades, and funny ears, I think is what it says. Anyway, really, really enjoyed this. This is a pretty old clam. My friend gave this to me, and I could not thank her enough. Beautiful. Highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. There's that Minerva scent that I was telling you about from Super Tarts that I love so much. That might, it's one of my, it's probably my favorite bathroom scent from Super Tarts. Now it says pink sugar and laundry. The laundry definitely stands out more than any other scent. Like before the pink sugar. Remember, I, I don't think no, it was a different uh, video movie. Oh my god, there's a rainbow melt scent, um, lavender white clouds. Um, oh, we have it here. So lavender ra lavender white clouds to me smells just like this. Even though in this description for rainbow melts, there's no pink sugar. This is <laughs> identical. So I'm looking forward to melting that. So and that was with my rainbow melt sleepy sampler. So I have repurchased, I have stuff coming to me in Minerva, love it. Super Tarts, you're so goofy, mouse ears and apple. Anything with mouse ears makes me happy. So, and I like apple, so it doesn't make me happy. It was very pleasant. Super Tarts again is strong. I split the Super Tarts scent shots um, in half and split them up. And I mean, I could probably let this go for like two, three days and still get a pretty good uh, scent throw from it. My friend sent me um, some bam, bam bag pieces of Bell. Now, was it the beginning of the month of October that I... This was nice. This was nice. Bell was nice. Um, but there are other things that I like a little bit more, I think, that I've tried. But this was really nice. And I melted the two samples I have received from Super Tarts. This is Pretty Woman, and this one's Dream Girl. Now, Pretty Woman is in the Rom-Con... Yeah, Rom-Con... Um, collection I don't know there's I don't know I, I don't know the send out description um, it's okay it's not something I even looked on the website for it doesn't spark my attention anyway so this one's dream girl which I don't know I think maybe it's a scent she's gonna make or something um, it was light I don't know I'll, again how to describe it there might be a little shaving cream in there but it was really really light it was okay. I'm thankful for samples, don't get me wrong. 
Um, I used a Tiffany Candles Apple Mango Tango type. Now, I don't get to use laundry soap with this Apple Mango Tango, um, but this was very pleasant. I melted, I purposely melted this on a Saturday morning, and this is really nice. Mm, definitely a nice laundry blend with, I guess that's the Mango Tango from that laundry soap company. I don't know. I don't get that stuff. Okay, where to go to next? Ha. Huh. We gotta speed this up. Oh, I'm so sad to see this go. Red Delicious Pink Sugar Vanilla Bean Noel from Sassy Girl Roma. So sad. So, so sad. I love this. It's probably one of my favorite blends from Sassy Girl. Really enjoyed this. It's all gone. That's okay, but I'm sure I could probably dupe this somehow. No, maybe not dupe it, but I can make something very similar with the scent notes. And we have Butter Pecan Buttercream Bomb Cinnamon Crunch Cake. This was a throwback Thursday. This was actually more pleasant than I was expecting. <coughs> this is, I was expecting more caramel, like super sweet, stuff them a little over at this point, but it's actually a lot better than I thought. So I quite enjoyed that. That was a mini pie. And so was this, I'm a little bit older. I, I was gifted this one, homemade goodness. It was just really, really nice baking, baked goods. I would say it's probably, it's not the same, but it's like a fake and bake. So it's not the same, but don't get me wrong. Like do not compare them, they're not dupes, but it's like super tarts fake and bake in that sense. It's like a bakery scent. Um, rainbow melts, we got just a couple of rainbow melts empties this month. We got pumpkin pecan waffles, sour cream spice cake, vanilla bean noel. This was good. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I really like that. The spice cake wasn't too spicy. Pecan waffles wasn't too pecan-y. This is one of her most popular scents that Rainbow Melts does, that, that Crystal does. Spider cider, mulled cider, and gooey caramel. This is fantastic, you guys. I am. I got this as a sample. I know lots of people, when they get in on her customs, they order like loaves of spider cider. They really love it. And again, I've had um, melts from Crystal for like a, from a year ago that I've got from, from friends or um, a de-stash I purchased and they even get stronger. So um, really, really highly recommend this. And that's coming from me who's not an ooey gooey caramel person, but this is really good. That mold cider really helps it along. Some disappointing ones, I, I was so excited too. They're both from Kringle. Um, my friend Beth sent those to me and they're both amazing on cold. Amazing, I was so excited. <coughs> Pardon me. Cashmere cocoa and lumberjack, and I hate to say it, but the throw I you know I had to, I used half, then I'm throwing the whole thing of these, like I'm the like I tried half of this and I'm having to throw the whole thing in, and, and same with this to even get a little tiny scent throw. I wish a little bit more for this. I had such high hopes because they smelled so amazing on cold. Love I love them on cold. It's just unfortunate. But two things that surprised me, and for those of you guys. In the United States, who can get to a Kohl's, I believe, is who sells um, Sonoma wax. Uh, falling leaves is fantastic. I'm not, from Bath and Byworks, I'm more of a sweater weather and autumn girl versus the leaves. But this was fantastic. It has a scent throw very similar to Super Tarts, where you really only need one shot. At least with these two scents that I've tried, you really don't need a lot. Now it does say, and then the other one, sorry, is Toasted Marshmallow, which was amazing, and I already have a review on my channel on this. They do say that they are $5.99 each, but from what I gather from um, some friends of mine who've mess messaged me, they said they can get them on sale with coupons for like $1.99 or even less sometimes. So I highly recommend trying Sonoma Wax Melts. I know they make candles as well. I can't verify, I can't vouch for the candles, but... I do like the melts and I think that they did, they performed really, really well. I was gifted both of these. Also, both of these are from Swan Creek Candle Company. So the one here is Warm uh, Cinnamon Buns and this one's Whipped Pumpkin Latte. Of the two, I like the Whipped Pumpkin Latte more. These are huge melts. Like you can see, this is American, or no, it's Canadian. $9.99 Canadian. Um, these are huge melts, like one of those cubes would be all you need to put in your melter. 
they were really, really good, and they threw really well. Um, the cinnamon buns was more mostly cinnamon, which is why I'm like, yeah, I probably could like this one a little bit more. Highly recommend these. I don't have any place nearby <coughs> where I could just buy these. I know of a couple like outdoor stores that sell them, but I don't have those outdoor stores near me. But um, if I'm near them, I might check them out. So anyway, I really like those too. I highly recommend that. A little bit of Goose Creek. We already have reviews, but, but um, Vanilla Pumpkin Waffle, really enjoyed that. Love, love, loved it. Um, yeah, I really like this. Um, less so this one. It was, again, too much cinnamon, but this is pumpkin pie. Um, just too much cinnamon for my liking, but most normal people would probably love this more than I do. But, um, but that was nice, but I would not repurchase. This one was hands down one of my favorite things I melted in the month of October. Unfortunately, it sounds like... Um, Campfire Marshmallow is no longer on the website, which is a shame because this is really good. I, this is really, really good. I enjoyed this very much. <coughs> I'm getting there. We're almost there, guys. And as myself and Devin Thompson on YouTube here, um, she and I, like, I totally agree with what she says. Um, Sugar and Spice Soy Candle Company is a highly underrated vendor. So I melted through four scent shots from her, uh, from Sugar and Spice. Macintosh Apple, just as it says, fabulous. I cure mine for two, two to three months is perfect. I get the best throw out of it. You can use, um, I cut this in thirds or some. I know Devin cuts hers in quarters. I highly recommend this. Anything from her so far that I've had it, I love. Macintosh Apple, fantastic. Ghost Munch, which is synonymous to Halloween. It's got a little caramel. It's got like all the sweetness scents to it. But not, it's not wasn't sickeningly sweet. But I enjoyed it. Probably not my favorite one of the bunch. But I did enjoy it. And it's very strong. Chubba Dubba. I don't have a scent note description for Dub Chubba Dubba. But it to me was like a very much a lemony, like lemony scent to me in my nose. But I really like that as well. <clears throat> Booberry. I had to melt this one in October, right? So this is your typical like blueberry, blackberry, you know, all the berries all together. Um, blended up probably with like a little bit of whipping cream or something creamy like a marshmallow. But this is very, very nice. Highly recommend. <coughs> Sugar and Spice is, I could say, an underrated company. Um, this is probably one of my, what I'm about to show you. For this next group is from Vintage Cheek Scents. This is probably one of my favorite melts for the entire month. Like, entire month. And it already has a review on my channel. And that's Campfire Tales. Vintage Cheek Scents. White Chocolate Grain Crackers Gooey Marshmallow. This is probably one, like I said, one of my favorite melts I melted all month. The whole month of October. I absolutely love this. Um, I wish you would just pour this in a unicorn loaf. Get it over with. Do not mix it with anything. There's a few things. There's this. There's um, Don Corleone. Just pour it in a freaking loaf. Don't mix it with stuff. And I'll buy one or two loaves because that's how much I love this. This is great on its own, which is how I melted it for the review. But I do believe that this is a this would be a fantastic blender as well. Love it. Now, hit and miss. Sweater weather was great. I per uh, got this from my friend Sarah. Sweater weather is baby, it's cold outside. That's the name of the milk. It was good, not super strong, but yeah, it's total dupe for Bath and Body Works. State Fair, which is funnel cake, powdered sugar, and strawberries. Um, this was okay. I didn't feel like it was very strong at all. Um, probably wouldn't I would not repurchase. Midway treats, which I know is super popular. Saltwater taffy, cotton candy frosting, and fluffy marshmallow. It was okay, but I don't remember this one being very strong either. No, no, not at all. It wasn't strong. I did not get a, much of a throw, and that's from March of this year. Hmm. The Great Pumpkin was part of a Throwback Thursday. It is described as pumpkin layer cake, cream cheese frosting. This was good. <coughs> I didn't get the throw I was hoping for, considering this is from June of 2016. That's right. So, um, wished for a little bit more, didn't get it. The Mind Reader, Blackberry Pear Cider, actually really like this one. This one I really enjoyed. So, um, I'm a huge Blackberry fan. 
And for those of you who don't know, I uh, love Blackberry. And I felt that this was pretty good. Actually, at probably at a, like a hot, medium high throw. I really did like that one. All right, just a couple more vendors, guys. We've got Rose Girls. Abracadabra, Laven Lavender Olive Branch, Lavender cu Cucumber Base, or Sage. So I purchased, um, this was one slice of a um, pie. I still have one more left. I bought this off my friend Sarah. This is fantastic. I love anything Olive Branch. Throw a lavender in there, some cucumber, some sage. Call me happy girl. This is happy days. Um, disappointed with this one. I know it's a popular one from some, again, Rose Girls Banana Fluff Puffs. This was a like a um, um, mini pie. Um, I got mostly fluff puffs and no banana, which I'm a banana girl. I actually enjoy the sound of banana. I was looking forward to it and didn't get much of that. Oh, I love this, you guys. Rose Girl Sarah's Blend, Blackberry Jam Coffee and Hot Fudge Brownie. Exactly how all these are here. That's exactly how it smelled. That smelled pucker. This was awesome. And this is a definite Saturday morning scent for me. This is fantastic. Would repurchase. Same with this one, Blackberry Mocha Cookies. I got this in a D stash, really loved it, threw really well. And it smells just like that. Blackberry and a mocha with a cookie scent. Cookie chaser. All right, Rose Girls October is green apple, mac, apple, lavender, apples, and oak. Love it. And I have like, I think more, two more slices of Octobers left to go through because I bought a pie of this or a half pie. Really love it. Um, yeah, no, I enjoy it very much. Rose Girls Lemon Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake. This is great. Um, I'm, I've got a couple more slices left. This was also a half pie. I think I have two more slices left. I'm gonna save it probably for springtime, but really enjoy it. And Rose Girls throws really, really well for me. All right, now for lastly, we have, <coughs> excuse me, the bathing garden. So, I'm gonna, okay, Christy is gonna laugh when she sees this. I love Toxic Earth. To me, it smelled like chocolate. And Toxic Earth is coffee, whiskey, caramel cake, and lightly, and it's lightly a beer with candy bones, which I, I think that was just for the sugar scrub. I smell freaking like brownie batter, and it's not even on there, but that's why. And she's like, oh my God, I want to barf when I smell that. She's like, she's like, oh, I feel so ill. And I'm like, I don't know why, I must be weird. Well, I already know I'm weird, but um, I really, really enjoy this one. <laughs> Actually, in fact, I've got a Toxic Earth, two more melts coming in and a, a scrub. If I don't already have it, I can't remember. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> Deadly Gardens. This is all part of her sampler for Halloween. Tonka bean, rose, jasmine, orange, citrus, vetiver. So I'm just gonna smell this because there's so many of them. I didn't like this one. Ooh, it was just too floral. Not my style. Wouldn't buy that in a, in a full clan. Illusions of a Labyrinth. Mandarin musk, sugar, and woodsy violet. Okay, I gotta go fast, oh, God. Oh, I actually, have the, I like this one. Yep, I like that one very much. I've never made a video this long before. I don't know if it'll upload. Black pepper, patchouli, vetiver, sandalwood, no. Uh, cardamom potion, which was cool. It was a brain, I actually melted this on Halloween. It didn't really give me as much of a throw that I wished. Complicated, caramel coffee, coconut, vanilla, chocolate, and crushed pretzel. Really like that. Melted it over the on the weekends. Really enjoyed that. Vintage Circus. Blue cotton candy layered over crisp candy apples. I liked it. I'm over it though. Probably not going to get any more of that until maybe for fall next year. Sleepy. One of my top favorite scents from the bathing garden. Pink sugar peppermint vanilla. Love it. Have repurchased. Lavender vanilla custard. Strong lavender blended with vanilla bean custard with hints of marshmallow and caramel. This is good. Almost a little too la uh, herbal for me, but otherwise really good. I actually have some backups. Blackberry fudge. Sweet candy blackberries blended with vanilla brown sugar fudge. Fantastic. Smells amazing. Wish I had more. All right, you guys, I got to cut this off. It's almost 40 minutes. All right, you guys, as always, be safe. Have fun. Thanks again for joining me and your patience. Take care, guys. Be safe. Have fun.